look right now at these vintage images of the city landmarks. Now, if you're a Chicago history buff, you're really going to want to pick up a new book, Changing Chicago, a portrait in postcards and photos. Joining me now in the studio live here are the co-authors of that book, Neil Samors and Steve Dahlman. Thank you so much for being here with us this morning. Good morning, Suzanne. Good morning. So how did the idea for this come about? Well, if you, if you like Chicago history, and you start looking at photos and postcards from the 1880s and then to the present, Steve and I talked about how can we put this together mm -hmm. so that people could see what life was really like. And that's what the book does. It just carries you all the way up to the present from the 1880s. So you're the historian and you are the picture taker. Correct, yes. Tell us about some of the photos that really surprised you when you were doing this collaborative effort. It was, uh, it was just, uh, Chicago's a beautiful city, and I just love to get out there. Uh, my favorite spot is along the Chicago River, mm. and uh, I think that's where you see a lot of the uh, evolution of Chicago. Uh, but it was, it was fun. Any, any part of the city is, is beautiful. And it wasn't just modern-day pictures, but you also took pictures from the 1800s and then also postcards. So how, how different did it look to you when you looked, for example, at a modern-day photo? We're looking at some of the images here and how it looked in the 1800s. I think it's uh, the people. The people uh, uh, are really uh, in the style of clothes. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's true, we're looking at a, an image of the lakefront right now. Yeah, this is, um, uh, and that's one of my favorites, of, uh, obviously. Uh, Buckingham Fountain? Correct, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Historically, how do you think we changed? Of course, dress is different. But what do you think it really sets us apart now from the 1800s to today? Well, you look at the postcards, for example, and mm -hmm. you see horse and buggy, mm -hmm. you see 1920s cars, you see so many things that have changed. Downtown looks fairly similar, but uh, it's gone through its, its major changes, too. How do we get a copy of this book? Well, you can go to our, my website at uh, chicagosbooks.com. Mm -hmm. You can go into Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and into independent bookstores all across Chicago. So definitely a great gift for someone who loves the history of Chicago and just loves the city, period. Right, exactly. And also a learning tool. Right. Fantastic. Well, again, thank you both so much for coming in to join us. Thank you.